Hey, Skylar here from Change You Can Wear and Soldier and Fine Jewelry. And today we're going to be making a spinner ring out of a Morgan Silver Dollar and a Copper Don't Tread On Me coin. The first step is cutting a hole in the Morgan Dollar. Once the hole is cut, we deburr it and get some sandpaper in there and smooth out that rough edge that we just cut. Then we'll get ready to anneal. And annealing is what that's going to do is going to soften the metal so we can start bending this coin without it cracking or breaking. And quenching metals like silver, copper, gold doesn't harden it like a ferrous metal would, like iron or steel. Now we're gonna take our universal folding cone and fold this thing into a cone shape. And once we're done annealing again to re-soften the metal, we're going to take our Swedish wrap kit, wrap our coin in Teflon tape, and then extrude it down in that Swedish wrap kit to make it a much smaller size. And with spinner rings, what I like to do is shrink it down one way, turn it around, and then make the other side match and make it a nice straight walled coin ring. So that way we're ready for the lathe. Now we have this thing done, we'll do the exact same process to the copper coin. And as I made the copper coin, I realized inside of it is actually brass. It's copper plated brass. So we're gonna have to deal with that coming up here in a minute. First what we need to do is thin this thing out to about a millimeter thick, so that way it'll fit into our channel of our spinner ring. Once we've cut the extra meat out, make sure it's nice and polished, so that way it spins nice and smoothly. And then we'll get it shaped down to the right thickness. And this sander everyone asks about is from Pepe Tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below for it. And so now what I'm doing is removing the high points of this copper off of the lettering, and it reveals the brass and leaves the copper just in the low spots. And we'll polish it up. And this is a really good way of overcoming the situation that we found as we cut into this coin. Actually, it looks better than I thought it was going to. Once that's finished, we're gonna take our Morgan dollar, get it hooked, chucked up on the lathe, and we're gonna get rid of all the detail on the outside, and then cut our channel. And I know a lot of people in previous videos always are like, why did you remove all the detail of the coin? But in reality, there's so little of the detail of the coin left, it doesn't look right, it looks confusing. And then when we go to shrink this thing down to get the spinner portion on there, it would have obliterated any detail that would have been there. So it doesn't really make sense to, to leave the detail on of a spinner ring. All right, now it's time to shrink this thing down so we can get the spinner into the channel. We'll take our 17 degree die and we're going to squish it down until it fits. Now that it fits, we'll expand it back with the ring stretcher. And this also comes from Pepe Tools. A lot of my other tools that aren't coin ring related tools come from Pepe. So I will leave a link in the description box below for them. They are kind enough to give me a discount code as well. So. If you guys order something, you can use the discount code and hopefully save a couple bucks. Now cleaning up the marks that the ring stretcher left when we shrank it down. And we're gonna antique the inside with some liver of sulfur. And usually I let this just sit for about half an hour or so. It gets good and dark. And once it does get good and dark, we'll clean it off with a little bit of water and wipe the excess out with a rag. And give it a final polish with a muslin buff and some green rouge. The ultrasound to get all that rouge off of there, and we're finished. 
What do you guys think? I love the fact that it's a two-tone spinner on there. That was totally unintentional. I was expecting it to be copper. When I saw it was brass underneath, I was like, oh no. But it looks so much better this way. If you guys want to buy one of these, I have three of these coins. That's all I have. A friend of mine sent them and I can't remember exactly who it was. If you guys know where to get these coins, let me know in the comment section. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.